Brock. Hey everyone, this video is going to go over how to find slope from a graph. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at the different types of slopes we see um, from lines on graphs and how to find that slope by looking at the graph and counting the rise over the run. Uh, we have four types of slope we're going to focus on today, a positive slope, a negative slope, and a zero slope, as well as an undefined slope. Um, and here we have the little penguins know their slope, but I'll be sending this to you guys um, later on if you guys want to color it or decorate it yourself. So we're going to get started with the guided notes today, and we're going to talk about our different types of slope and how we classify slope and we name slope. So we started talking about the different ways to name slope um, in class yesterday, but we're going to go ahead and classify slope a little bit more today. Um, slope has many, many different ways to describe it, but they all essentially mean the same thing. So we can describe slope as rise divided by run. Okay, that's probably the most common. Slope, so slope is rise over run. Slope is change y divided by the change in x. Okay. Slope is the change in the output, since y is our output, change in output divided by the change in the input, okay? Slope is our change in the dependent, the dependent variable because y is always our dependent. Change the dependent divided by the change in the independent variable. I'm sorry, this is so sloppy. Um, but these are all the different ways we can describe slope. We also are going to describe slope as m. And you guys now know a new formula to describe slope, which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, so this is the slope formula. These are the different ways to describe slope. So slope can be rise over run, change in y divided by change in x, change in output divided by change in input, change in dependent divided by change in independent, and also m. Um, now, our goal today is we don't want to just be able to find slope from two points. We want to be able to say, I can find slope from a graph. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to kind of classify some things about slope and the types of slope we are going to have and we are going to see. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down a little bit, hopefully run this a little bit neater. So let's classify our lines by slope, okay? Let's classify our lines by slope. So to start with, lines with a positive slope, we're going to start with lines with a positive slope. Okay, so lines with a positive slope, positive slope, that's better. So rise from left to right. So they rise from left to left, right. So these are slopes where M is greater than zero. So positive numbers. So these lines are rising from left to right. Okay, a line with a negative slope, a line with a negative slope, falls from left to right. So this is when M is less than zero. So numbers that are less than zero are negative numbers. So a negative slope falls from left to right, okay? Uh, a line with a slope of zero is horizontal. A line with a slope of zero is horizontal. So that's our totally flat line. So that's when we have m equals zero, okay? And then a line with an undefined slope, so along the undefined slope, is vertical. So along the undefined slope is vertical. 
And that is under, let me write that a little bit neater, undefined. It's hard to write with this new tablet. Okay, and so this kind of line is when just M is undefined. It doesn't even equal undefined, it just is undefined. Okay, and so the horizontal line slope is zero is flat and undefined is straight up and down. Okay, so those are our four different types of slopes we're gonna be looking at, okay? And we have a way to remember this and that is Mr. Slope Guy. This is Mr. Slope Guy. So I'm gonna pull up Mr. Slope Guy real quick and show you guys Mr. Slope Guy. Loading. And then we're gonna actually look at, well, how do we find the slope? How do we find the slope? So this is Mr. Slope Guy, and Mr. Slope Guy is just a helpful way to help you remember the different ways to do slope. Um, I will be sending you a copy of Mr. Slope Guy if you want to decorate it or, um, submit it for our contest for the best looking Mr. Slope guy. But you, as you see here, we've got the positive slope with the line that rises, the negative slope with the line that falls, the undefined slope is vertical, and the slope of zero is horizontal. So this Mr. Slope guy helps us remember all of this. So what we're gonna do now is what we're gonna say is, so if I can identify the slope and what type of slope it is, can I now find what the actual slope is from the graph? So how do we actually find slope from a graph? Well, it's not hard at all. We actually just have three simple steps, okay? That's all we have, and I'm gonna actually try typing these steps because of my handwriting right now. We're gonna count the rise. That is our first step, is we're gonna count the rise. Then we are going to count the run, okay? And then we are going to write as rise, divided by run and reduce if needed or simplify if needed. These are our steps, they're literally that simple. This is all we have to do. So what I do is I tell students to go to the point furthest to the left, okay? So find your point furthest to the left. So here's my point furthest to the left. And I say, okay, I wanna get to this other point on the right, all right? Now to do this, we only move up or down to start. So to get to the point on the right, if I go down, I'm not going near it. But if I go up, I am. So I go up one. So I count up my rise and my rise is one. All right now I'm gonna do my run. My run is one, two, I move over two. So my run is one, two. So my run is two. So my slope here, the slope of this line is gonna be M equals rise over one or one half. So the slope of my line is one half. So every time Y increases by one, X increases by two. All right, a couple pointers about picking these points on this line. When you are picking points, you want to make sure you are picking good points. Good points are points that go exactly through the coordinate. So like this is a good point. This is a good point. That's a good point. This is a good point. And so is this. What would not be a good point is if you chose this point right here. That is not a good point because it goes halfway through coordinate. We don't want to have to count fractional values. We want to make sure we always pick a good point along the graph. Okay? So, real quick, we're going to look at some examples of slope and where we use slope in real life. And then, um, actually, you know, we can do that in class. We'll save that for class. So then we're gonna do some more practice. We're gonna skip right to the practice. Let's do our practice, guys. So we've got three, two, one, two, and three, and four here to do. So we're gonna do two, three, and four. We're gonna do these together. We're gonna to count the rise and the run, okay? So get your pencil ready and we're gonna do this. So we're gonna start with number two. So number two, we first need to pick some good points. And luckily they've already given us some good points. We've got this point here and we've got a point here. Why is it not letting me stick this on here? Hold on. Point here and we got a point here. These are good points. If you wanted to, you could also use this point 
or even this point. Those are all good points, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the point furthest to the left. So here's my point furthest to the left, and I wanna to get to this point right here. So to get there, if I go up, I'm not getting closer. I'm gonna go down. So I went down one, two, and then I'm going to go right one, two. So my rise is to two or negative two. It's actually gonna be negative two because I'm going down. My rise is negative two, my right is positive two. So my slope is negative two divided by two. And that is going to reduce to negative one. My slope is negative one, okay? And notice this is a negative slope and my line is decreasing. It's going downhill, which is what I want. All right, we do number three. Again, we get lucky. They give us some good points to use. I'm gonna use this point. I'm gonna use this point. All right, so my rise over my run. So my rise here to get from the left point to the right point, I'm gonna to have to rise one. I'm gonna to have to run one, two. So my rise over my run is m equals one half. There's no simplifying I need to do here. This is my answer. Notice this has a positive slope and this line is increasing positively. All right, number four. Number four, we have some good points they gave us and we're gonna use these two points and we're gonna count the slope between these two points. So I'm just gonna start furthest to the left. Some of you guys might already be catching on that this line is gonna have a negative slope because it's going down from left to right. So to get from here to my other point, I'm gonna to have to go down one, two, three, four, five. So just move my line down five. Okay, everybody? So my rise is down five. So if my rise is down five, that means it's negative five. So we know my rise is negative five. So if it's rise over run, we know the rise is negative five because we went down. My run, if I come do my run here, is one, two, three, four. It is positive four. So one, two, three, four. So I have negative five fourths is my slope. Now, again, I've talked about this in my other class. We are not gonna do anything else with this. We're gonna leave this as negative five fourths without changing it to a mixed number. We don't wanna make anything a mixed number because this specifically tells me what my rise is and what my run is, okay? Okay, so this is a general introduction into finding slope from a graph. You're now familiar with counting the slope, counting the rise over the run, and simplifying. Um, we're gonna do practice in class on Wednesday and Thursday, so you'll see more of this practice in here, um, and you'll see some different uses of slope and how to count the slope of these lines. I'm gonna give us one more I want you guys to try. It's a little bit trickier, okay? I'm gonna give you guys this last one to practice real quick. Um, because I want to make sure you guys know what to do if you don't see pre-given points, okay? So they're not going to always give you the points they want you to use. Sometimes it is up to you to pick the points. And remember, we want to make sure we're picking good points. And good points are points that go perfectly through a coordinate. So like for example, like this is not a good point because it goes halfway through a coordinate if you're counting fractional values, okay? This is not a good coordinate. Let's look at some good coordinates that and put them on here. So this is a good coordinate right here. The y-intercept is always a good coordinate to start at because it um, it usually crosses directly on the y-axis, okay? Um, let's look for another good coordinate. Let's see, I think I see a good one. This is a good coordinate, all right? This is a good coordinate. You can use any of these points, okay? You can use any of these points and you're still gonna get the same slope. And in fact, I'll show you that with two different examples. Take a second though, I wanna pause the video. I want you guys to try and find the slope of this line all by yourself. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna do two different examples here because maybe you chose different points than I did. I wanna show you guys how cool this is and how we can choose any points on here and we're gonna still get the same answer. So let's say that you guys chose, let's say you chose this point and the furthest point down, okay? So you want to find the rise over the run. 
So we start at the point to the furthest to the left. And this is one, we're not gonna be going up, we're gonna be going down. So I'm gonna go down, and then I'm going to go to the right, okay? So my rise and right. So let's count. My rise was down one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we went down six, we're gonna say that's negative six. Okay, and remember, we always do rise and run first. We never go left or right first. We always do up or down first, okay? My run is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So my rise is negative six. My run is positive nine. We always simplify. So this would simplify to negative two thirds. So the slope of this line is negative two thirds. That's if you chose the two furthest points. What if you're like, well, I didn't choose those points. I chose this point and let's say this point. Well, you should still get the same answer. You're actually just gonna have a little bit less work. You're still gonna count the fall of two and the run of three. So I'm gonna fall one, two, that's negative two, and I'm gonna run one, two, three. That's positive three. So here, if we use those two points, we still get the rise is negative two, so we go down, and the run is three. So here's the cool thing. You can pick any points on the line that are good points, and you're still gonna get the same slope. You just may have to simplify. So this is your introduction into finding slope from a graph. We will practice this in class later this week. Um, please let me know if you have any questions, or let your teacher know if you have any questions, and um, good job, everybody. Have a great day.